Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video! I will do one last thing in this authentication. We have already seen how we can modify the default registration and now I want to show you how to use username instead of email. We already have this username field in our database, so if I go to the users table, yeah, we have this username field right here. So all we have to do is to use this one instead of email. First, let's make sure that the authentication works by using the email. So if I do something like this, as you can see, we are logged in. Now I will log out and do the modifications required to log in with the username instead. First of all, I will open the login view to change email address here and of course the text box. So let's do that. If I open the login.blade.php file, make sure that you change email for everything to username. And the field, the type here has to be a text. And of course we change the text here to username. Okay, so if I go back and reload this, we have this new username field here. The result is pretty much the same, we just changed the text here to username and of course now the field is username instead of email. Okay, so let's do the required modifications for the backend. Open the login controller and I will go to the definition of this trait here, the authenticates user trait. Now this is what the default authentication uses to log in a user. What we care about are the credentials. So if I scroll down a bit, we should have this credentials function here. In order to log in, a user needs an email and a password. However, now we need a username and a password. Now, do not get confused from this username here. Username here is only a function. It doesn't mean that it is using the username. Again, if you go to the definition of this, you will see that it uses email. So yeah, in order to log in with a username, you just have to change email here to username. Remember, we added this username field a couple of videos ago. Alright, so if I save and I go back now and give this a try, but first I want to do this with the email, and as you can see we get this error, these credentials do not match our records. Which is good, because now we are using the username and not the email. So, if I try this with my username, which is my name, I think, and the password secret, you can see that now we are logged in. Easy as that. In the next video, we will dive deeper and build an actual social network. Next time, we will start building a user profile. So, stay tuned.